everyone this video is for the people who are being annoyed uh, of the error all the time saying that their internal memory is almost full and sometimes some applications do not install on your sd card they install on your phone's internal memory and uh, sometimes it gets full and you can't install that particular app which gets very annoying in this video i'm going to show you how to partition your sd card uh, make a separate partition for it to act as a as more internal memory on your galaxy y uh, which will separate your SD card files, just your videos, images, and the data files of the installed apps. So, um, to begin, first of all, you will need to download and install Link to SD, and you need Cocoa Mode Recovery. You can find both of those uh, in the link in the video description. There, I have provided download links. And to begin now, we are going to need to power off the phone, and we are going to boot into recovery mode. You should be familiar with how to boot. You need to hold the power button, the home button, and the volume up at the same time. So I'll get back to you when I'm in Cocoa Mode Recovery. And okay, so if your uh, kernel doesn't have Cocoa Mode Recovery, you need to uh, flash it manually. So you would be in the uh, stock recovery. So just choose, choose apply update from SD card. And I'm going to use skin CWM. So yeah, you, you're going to download the exact same Cocoa Mode Recovery version. So just select that and you will be in there and now uh, you're going to go to advanced choose partition SD card and select uh, how much memory you want to use in my case I do not need much because I mostly need my SD card for videos and all that so I'm just going to choose 256 megabytes so I'm going to choose that choose the one which you want and be sure to a swap size to choose zero megabytes. Choose that again, and please, and now wait for the SD card to be partitioned. And okay, it is done. So just either press the back button or the power button, and choose the first option, reboot system now. And wait for your Galaxy Y to boot up. Now that your phone has booted up successfully, just go to your app drawer and find link to SD card which you have installed. Or if you haven't installed, you can just install it now. Anyways, once installed, start up the app and uh, it may ask you for super user access, so grant it. Which means you have a rooted phone and okay now, this pop-up may appear. And in case you don't get a pop-up asking you um, what to use, XT, EXT2, EXT3 and all that, just press the options button. The menu button here and choose more and recreate mount scripts so choose xt3 ext3 sorry and choose ok now wait for it and as you can see mount script created please restart your phone to mount the second partition of your sd card and so once again you need to reboot the galaxy ui so, um, instead of just powering it off actually, you can just start with the link to SD card and in the more options, you can find the quick reboot option and just choose that and wait for the phone to reboot. And so after it is done rebooting, start up link to SD and <coughs> now to ensure that we have done everything successfully, press the options button, the menu button down there go to storage info and see if this uh, SD card second partition is mounted as you can see it is here 92% free and yeah this is basically all you had to do and now you can you have a separate partition to install your apps instead of uh, in the internal memory so you can keep it clean to stay away from a pop-up annoying pop-up saying that it is nearly full and all that and yeah and okay so let's do a little demonstration here as you can see i've got beautiful widgets installed and it takes up 30 megabytes of my internal memory and you can see i have 166 um used and so let's do the demonstration of linking this moving it to the second partition so uh in the list here when you run link to sd choose the app which you want to move so for example i'm going to do it with beautiful widgets choose that go down and tap on create link and uh, be sure to select everything this one doesn't have lib files so it's just unchecked and finally tap on ok 
it will create the link there we go they are moved and now let us check out how we are doing with the internal memory now that we go to package here as you can see I have freed up space it's still something as you can see here it is now in the second SD card partition so yeah this surely helps you um, say keep your internal memory free to stay away from uh, all sorts of pop-ups and all that so, yeah this is how you increase your internal memory it's a very simple process by just using Quagmont recovery uh, there are other ways like using mini tool partition and all that but you don't really need that we just did it with Cocoa Mode Recovery. That is all. Thank you for watching and uh, please like the video if this worked for you. Goodbye.